you eat dry food and then drink water, it doesn't do the thing. For most of the chronic ailments that people are suffering today in the world, the headquarters is in the stomach. If you eat food without coke or coffee or tea or anything, you feel down. It kind of pulls you down. Whole lot of people have developed a culture around it, after lunch they have to sleep. You, if you drink any liquid along with your food, your whole digestive process gets inefficient. Because... Because fruit is a substance which is over ninety percent water and you must eat water, not drink water. This is the yogic science. As far as possible, you eat water. You always be conscious about the food that you're eating, what is the water content. Like a South Indian meal, if you eat, a cooked meal I'm talking about, if you eat, very easily sixty, seventy percent water. In fact, more. In some of the foods, it's much more. But now the food that you're eating here, you're eating bread, which was baked a month ago probably, is that minimum? Even in so-called uh, organic shops, it's at least a month or at least a week. Nobody is going and getting fresh bread and come. And anyway, the way the bread is baked, it doesn't have water in it, very, very little water. So, of course, you're uh, compensating that with uh, a bucket of Coca-Cola or something like that <laughs> All right. But that doesn't work like that. You, if you drink any liquid along with your food, the acids that are necessary for digestive process will get diluted. Your whole digestive process gets inefficient. Because food, when it goes in, if it contains water, it's assist. But if you put any liquid on top of it, you will see the food will remain in the stomach bag for too long. We are very concerned about this always in the yogic uh, culture and life, that we don't want food to remain in our stomach bag for more than two and a half hours maximum. In two and a half hours time, it doesn't matter what I've eaten, how much I've eaten, it must go into other parts. If it remains there, it makes you dull. It makes you lose your sense of perception. Your per the level of perception, the keenness of perception is lost. Which you notice, if you eat food without coke or coffee or tea or anything, you feel down. It kind of pulls you down. Whole lot of people have developed a culture around it, after lunch they have to sleep. It's like, you went to the gas station, you fueled up, then you can't start the engine. <laughs> because there is a gas in the tank. So that, that's what it means. So, to ensure that digestive system is in full process, because for most of the chronic ailments that people are suffering today in the world, the headquarters is in the stomach. Yes. But a lot of people, it's shifting to their head, but largely headquarters is in the stomach, the way what they eat and the way they eat. There is substantial medical evidence to show you any food that you eat, its water content should be higher than your body's water content. You must eat water, not drink water. This… this… Uh, this campaign by water bottling companies in America especially, and it's gone everywhere. Every day you must drink three liters of water, four liters of water. You will dilute your blood and suffer many things. Micronutrients won't reach your brain or various cells simply because you're overly diluted. And anyway, all you will do is you need bathrooms every kilometer. In America, there are more bathrooms than the population because drinking so much water, you have to go all the time. You must eat water, your food must have water content. You eat dry food and then drink water, it doesn't do the thing. Fruit has nearly eighty to ninety percent water and that's why it's the best thing to consume. We have to bring it back into the nation's diet. As far back as many centuries or a millennia ago, people have noticed that we were eating a lot of fruit because we have the highest variety of fruits in this country. But we… most of the traditional fruits are gone. Most of the fruits you see in the market are from New Zealand or uh, Australia or Thailand or somewhere. Traditional fruits are almost going out. I don't know what you call them, the local names, uh, but you know, there are so many varieties of tropical fruits in this country, which are all vanishing. 
farmers. From the market it's vanished, the trees also I don't see them anywhere anymore, which were all common at one time. I'm... I'm not talking five hundred years ago, I'm talking fifty years ago, this was all very, very common. You must eat water, your food must have water content. You eat dry food and then drink water, it doesn't do the thing.